Howdy, if you freak out, it's Miss Kosh. I am continuing my notes from 315, um, the rate of change and polar curves and that kind of stuff. So we, um, this is video two. So we want to come back to the Desmos that we started with at the beginning. Um, so we still have these points that they that they put on here and this curve. Um, and so then here, here's that equation graphed as a rectangular function. And then here's what happens when we graph it in the polar world. Um, and so now we're going to talk about, well, what extrema, what, what conclusions can we draw about extrema and polar curves? Um, and I have never taught this before. So here goes nothing. Um, what the, the pre-cal curriculum tells us that, um, for a polar function, r equals f of theta. If the function changes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing on an interval, then the function has a relative extremum. I can't spell. Um, yeah. <laughs> extremum, I think is how they say that. On the interval corresponding to the point, to a point relatively closest to or farthest from the origin. Okay, so the way that I um, think we should interpret this is that um, this point was, so our curve was increasing, and then it starts decreasing here, and then it's increasing again, um, and it's very easy to see in the rectangular curve. Um, if we look over here, what's happening? So I'm saying that we've got um, an extrema at pi over 2 and an extrema at 3 pi over 2, um, and so when we look here, our curve, we started at, remember this was zero. We started, we're increasing, we're getting farther and farther away. And then at this point, so we increase to here. At, from here, we as we continue, uh, let's use a different color. As we continue, we are decreasing, decreasing. We're getting closer and closer and closer and closer to the origin. And now, so um, this, okay, we're still decreasing. It looks like we're getting... No, our R value is what we're talking about. I'm sorry, sorry. Our R value in blue is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Our R value here, um, it's obvious that it's getting smaller up to this point at zero, but now the R value here is negative because this is, um, it's in quadrant one, but it should have, it comes from angles in quadrant three. So these, ang these the radius here on that little piece is negative. So that means it is um, a smaller value than what we had seen before. So let me try it a different way. Here is where r equals three, and then we're and then here we get to this point is where r equals two. Here is where r equals one. Now r equals zero right here, and at this point over here, our r value equals negative one, and so that, that those values were decreasing all the way to there. Then we turn around and we start increasing until we get back to where we started. Okay, and so they're saying that we have extrema at. Um, what conclusions can we draw? Um, well, we have an extrema at um, when pi, at pi over two, um, and at three pi over two. And maybe I'll say extrema at those two. Um, well, maybe we should tell it when theta equals something like that. Okay, so um, did I give us an example problem? Oh, I did. How oh, fantastic. Um, so on this one, this is from example one, locate any extrema on the interval. So let me come back to example one. We have, um, so we were decreasing, our curve was decreasing to here, and then it was increasing to there. Um, so at pi, at pi, we're saying we have an extrema, which is this at zero. So I think, I think I don't know what I'm doing, but um, <laughs> um, I'm going to have to go do work some AP classroom problems and make sure I get the correct answer. But I think that we have an extrema when theta is equal to pi. So um, if, I, if I am not happy, right, is that what we were looking at with example one? Um, I guess we, maybe we should also consider at zero and at two pi, because that looks like it's so... Um, where did I graph that curve? I'm sorry, I keep flipping all around. Okay, here's the curve. At zero, we seem to be um, as far away as we're going to be at, and then that's also at two pi over here, um, and then at pi. Yeah, it changed from um, it was decreasing as it went around this way, and then it was increasing. The radius was increasing, going uh, going that way. Um, yeah, we have a lot to learn together, you guys. This is this is. Uh, fun or something. I will go look this up. So um, 
uh, maybe we'll say zero and we'll say two pi. Um, but I will come back and make another video if um, I was wrong. <laughs> um, good luck. Subscribe. Comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, comments, all that kind of stuff. And go practice. The only way to learn this is to practice.